Don't nobody talk to me directly. You understand? You got business with me. You talk to Huey. Huey, you talk to me. You got it? All right. Damn it, never on the phone. You got it? I got it. All right. Go to Twins and the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Hollywood Sports. Guys, I want to talk about our franchise, and I want to talk about our stats so far throughout the season. But we just got a notification, man, that um, a notification from our um, uh, farm director. Uh, it's a AAA pitcher update. And he is telling us that our starting pitcher, Ariel Miranda, posted a 2.15 ERA in April. That's pretty good. Collecting 29 strikeouts over 29.1 innings. So that's good for our scouts, our scout director to let us know what's going on down in AAA. That Miranda's down there tearing it up. So guys, if we ever need a pitcher coming up, we know uh, who, who we can look out for and a better chance to succeed at the major league level. Again, we got our farm director, one of our scouts, telling us that AAA pitcher update, uh, Ariel Miranda posted a 2.15 ERA in the month of April. That is awesome, guys. That is awesome. Okay, notification number two. Um, our farm director is letting us know in AA, we got a AA pitcher update. Uh, Juan um, uh, or Ormelis posted a 2.28 ERA in April. Punching out 25 batters um, and 27.2 innings of work. So, guys, we got some pitches going on in our, in our farm system, AAA and AA. Let's see what the next notification is. All right, our farm director in the AAA, uh, it's a player update. Dan Vogelbach, he plays first base down in AAA. An outstanding month of April, batting 268 and driving in 12 runs over 71 at best. Awesome. Awesome. We got some guys in our farm system doing some work, man. Also, our farm director letting us know down in double A, uh, we have Carlos Mendarios. He swung a hot bat in April, hitting, hitting 329 average and driving in 10 runs over 85 at best. Awesome. And he's a shortstop. All right, notification number five from our, our pitching coach. Um, struggling a double-A pitcher. Oh, we got a guy struggling down in double-A. April was a tough month for starting pitcher Casey Lawrence, who had a 7.36 ERA. Wow. That's a high ERA, man. That's that's what you call struggling. And 11 innings while issuing six walks. Woo. So he's got some work to do, guys. But then again, he's just having a bad – he's struggling right now. We all get in those slumps. Okay, notification number six from my hitting coach. Um, it's a struggling AAA player. April was a rough month for catcher Mike uh, Maraha. Now, we had him up. We had him up a little bit when we first started the season as our catcher because uh, Zanino uh, was hurt. Our starting catcher was hurt. But he posted, uh, man, a 121 average. Wow. And 33 at best. So he's struggling right there. So those are good updates from our farm system. But again, guys, what I want to talk about is um, our, 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 our stats. I want to talk about the American League stats. As you can see, guys, Giancarlo Stanton, of course, from the Yankees, uh, is a home run. He is leading it, uh, American League in home runs. Mike Trout has 10 home runs. And uh, Salvador Perez has 9. Uh, and if we look at saves, Zach Britton um, has 10 saves, Greg Kimball has 10, and Roberto Asuna has 7 saves in the league. Well, let's go ahead and click on in, guys. Boom, boom. Let's go ahead and click on in. Let's leave. Okay, Lead, leading the league in batting average, and I'm only going to do the top three of each uh, category. In batting average, we got Shin Su Chu from Texas. Hitting 375. Then we got center fielder Mike Trout hitting 360 from Anaheim. And from the Cleveland Indians playing left field, we have Michael Bradley hitting 357 so far in the American League. And they all three of those guys are hot. You can see that whole list is hot, man. But do we have anybody on it for the Mariners on this list? We don't, as far as leading and batting average. All right, let's go to hits. Okay, number one playing shortstop is from the Detroit Tigers is. Uh, Jose Iglesias, he's got 43 hits on the season right now. From the Cleveland Indians playing left field, Michael Bradley has 40 hits. And from the Texas Rangers, again, Shinsu Chu is showing up in the stats in the leader category playing right field with 30 
nine hits. Now, if we go down here, we do have a player on this stat, our, our right fielder, Nelson Cruz, but he's been playing mostly um, DH for us, and he's got 36 hits. So I like that. I like that, guys. Let's, we're just going through the American League, looking at who's leading the league in right now. You know, and right now, let's look at at-bats. Who's got the most at-bats so far? Uh, from Detroit, shortstop Jose Iglesias has 128 at-bats. So he's not, he, he's probably didn't have too many days off, man. He's been in the lineup every night. Um, from the Anaheim Angels, we have Andrelton Simmons with 128 hits. He also plays shortstop. And for the Boston Red Sox playing second base, we have Uduro at Dorado um, Nurez with 127 um, at-bats. Anybody from the Mariners on this list? Uh, sure not. Let's go to the next category. And doubles in the American League right now. We have from Detroit shortstop Jose Iglesias. And it looks like we have the same guys leading these stats. He has 11 doubles so far in the season. From the Houston Astros playing first base, we have... Uh, uh, Marwin Gonzalez with 10, 10 doubles, man. Woo, these guys are tearing it up. And from the Houston Astros, we have Alex Bergman with 10 doubles playing third base. And we have a Seattle Mariner on his list, which are center field. D. Gordon, he has seven doubles on this season. As you can see, guys, his average is 289. Uh, so he's doing pretty good, man. His OBS is 331. Selecting percentage is 404. So D. 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 Gordon is doing pretty good, man. He's on that list as far as hitting doubles in the American League. Let's go to triples. All right, for the Minnesota Twins, in the number one spot playing center field is uh, uh, Byron Buxton with three doubles, man. Next, we have from Anaheim, shortstop, and Drelton Simmons with three doubles. And from the New York Yankees, playing shortstop also, we have D uh, Diddy uh, Gregorius with three triples. Anybody in this list from the Mariners? Nope, 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 nope. So uh, that's a really good list right there for us triples in the American League. Now, home runs. Again, the guy from the New York Yankees, man, Gio, Gio Carlos Stanton, man. He has 13 home runs. Woo-wee, coming in second. Oh, the, the man, the man. He's probably going to be a first ballot Hall of Famer. For the Anaheim Angels playing center field, Mike Trout. This guy's a beast. On the season so far, he's got 10 home runs. And from the Kansas City, um, he has... A catcher, uh, Salvador Perez, has nine home runs from the Kansas City Royals. Okay, we go down the list. Okay, we got our right fielder, Nelson Cruz. He has eight home runs. And we have Mitch Hanniger playing left field for the Mariners. He has seven home runs. So we got some home run guys on our list right now. Going to runs batted in, RBIs. Uh, uh, Gia Carlos Stanton is number one in that category also, playing left field for the Yankees. He has 30 run, 31 runs batted in so far. That's what you call run production, man. And second, we have Bryant Dozier uh, from the Minnesota Twins that plays second base. He has 27 runs batted in. And from the Houston Astros playing first base, we have Marin Gonzalez. And as you can see, guys, these guys are great players, man. It seems like these guys are on every category when it comes to hitting the baseball. And from uh, our club, the Seattle Mariners, we got Nelson Cruz with 24 runs batted in. Good run production, guys. Good run production. Okay, let's go to runs. There's a lot of stats, isn't it, guys? A lot of stats. Look at look at Mike Trout. He's got 25 runs. He's come across that home plate 25 times, man. Scoring 25 runs. Oh, Gio Carlos Stanton right behind him with 24 runs from the New York Yankees. And from Texas, we got Sin Su Chu. Again, the same na names, guys, but then again, our right fielder Nelson Cruz is right behind him in fourth place, guys, with 22 runs. All right. Anybody else on this list? We got D. Gordon with 21 runs. All right. Stolen bases. From the Minnesota Twins playing center field, we have Byron Buxton. He has nine stolen bases on the season. From the Tampa Bay uh, Rays, we have uh, Malik Smith with seven. And from Texas, again, Shen Su uh, uh, Chu is tearing it up. He has seven stolen bases. And from the Mariners, D. Gordon, he's got seven. Y'all know D. Gordon is fast, man. He's been stealing bases for us, been tearing it up. He's also stole third on a couple occasions. Okay, we go to base, base on balls, guys. 
Um, this is what you call walks from Texas. Sensu Chu has 21. Uh, Josh Donaldson uh, from the uh, Toronto Blue Jays has 19. And Miguel Cabrera from the Detroit Tigers has 18 uh, base on balls, which means they, they walk these guys, man. They pitch around these guys, and these guys get on base because they walk them. Anybody from the Mariners? No. Okay, on base percentage. How often do these guys get on base? Since Su Chu from Texas has got a .488. Uh, Mike Trout uh, from the Anaheim Angels has a 4.44. I mean, almost half of the time, these guys are on base, man. And then in the third spot, you got Josh Donald. And again, the same names from the Toronto Blue Jays is .437. And down here, we have Nelson Cruz. He's on base at a .383. All right. Sounds good, guys. Sound good. Slugging percentage. Uh, these guys are sluggers. Uh, Mike Trout is on fire with a .750 slugging percentage. And in the number two spot, again, these are all-star guys. Gio, uh, uh, Giancarlo Stanton with a .673. And Michael Bradley from the Cleveland Indians with a .625. All right. And we have Nelson Cruz on this list. He's at a .579 slugging percentage. Good stuff, guys. Good stuff. OPS. Now, OPS is kind of like uh, 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 how often, I forgot what that means exactly. I, I looked it up, but it's basically how they hit and get on base. It's one, per, uh, one percentage they put together. Um, it's hard to explain, but you can see Mount Tr Mount Tr Mike Trout is up there. Sin Su Chu, same names. Jerry Carlos Stanton, number three. All right, and we have a, my man Nelson Cruz at a point nine six two OPS. All right, man, there's a lot of stats in baseball. Okay, wins. When we're talking about starting pitchers, uh, from the Cleveland Indians, we got Trevor Bauer with six wins. From the Toronto Blue Jays, we have Jamin Garcia with four wins. And from the Houston Astros, we have Garrett Cole also with four wins. And we don't have any starting pitchers uh, with more than three wins. All right, let's get to losses. Uh, when we're talking about starting pitchers, Sonny Gray has no losses. These guys have no losses. Uh, Jason Hamill has no loss on the season. Um, and Jake, this whole list is pretty good. None of these guys have losses, except when you get down to the bottom. You have Charlie Morton from the Houston Astros and Garrett Cole, also from the Houston Astros. And it says to qualify as a league leader, a pitcher must have at least one inning pitched Per team games played. Okay, we go to saves, man. From the uh, Baltimore Orioles, we have Zach Britton with 10 saves. From the Boston Red Sox, we have Greg uh, Kimbrell with 10 saves. And from the Toronto Blue Chase, um, closing pitcher Roberto Asuna has seven saves so far on the season. And our man, which is doing really good right now, closing, he's, he's got seven saves. Edwin Diaz. That's pretty good, guys. We got some guys in the categories, guys. We're doing pretty good. ERA, man. Earn run average. From the Kansas City Royals, we had Jason Hamill. He's only letting 1.51. Um, ERA, Trevor Barra has 1.59. And Chris Sale from the Boston Red Sox has 1.59. Okay, anybody on the Mariners? Okay, we got uh, James Paxton, our starting pitcher. He's number two in the rotation. He's actually pick, pitching better than uh, Felix Hernandez. And he has 1.96 ERA. That's outstanding. Those ERA numbers are outstanding. But you got these guys out here blowing and going, man, in the American League right now. Home runs allowed. This is where we don't want to be on the list. We got Nick Traprino. Um, he, has, he hasn't allowed anything. Uh, yeah, I guess we do want to be on the list. Yeah, we do want to be on the list. <laughs> okay, the Boston White Sox. Um, TJ House has given up two home runs. And from the Detroit Tigers, Michael Fulmer has given up two home runs. Anybody? We have no pitches on this list, which is really, really, really good. Let's see. We could go down on the list probably. Yep, we could go down on the list. Again, guys, I'm not going to do the whole list. I'm just doing the top three. All right. Now, let's go to shutouts. Who has shutouts in the American League? From the Houston Astros, Justin Verlander. Now, Justin Verlander is getting up there in age, and this guy's still doing it, man. He is still doing it. He has two 
uh, shoutouts. And from the Baltimore Orioles, we got Kevin uh, uh, Gooseman uh, with one shoutout. And from the Cleveland Indians, starting pitcher Danny Salazar also has a shutout. And we have nobody on the Mariners staff that has a shutout. Strikeouts. Number one from the Boston Red Sox is Chris Sale with 60 strikeouts so far. That's a lot. Oh, we got my man James Paxton in the number two spot, baby. He's got 55 strikeouts. That is awesome. That is beautiful, man. And from the Cleveland Indians, we have Carlos uh, Carrasco with 45 strikeouts. Okay, nobody else is on the Mariners. It's leading up their strikeouts. Okay, complete games. Corey Kubler. Now, throwing complete games is awesome. From the Cleveland Indians, Corey uh, uh, Kluber has two um, complete games. Houston Astros, uh, Justin Berlander's doing it again, man. Doing it again at two. I, I wonder why teams let him go, man. This is like his third team in three years he's been playing with. and uh, But he's doing it. He's still doing it from Houston Astros, two complete games. And in the third spot, we got Kevin Gossman from the Baltimore Orioles he has one complete game. You know, a lot of these guys are doing pretty good. So we don't have any Mariner, a starting pitcher that's uh, pitched a complete game. Now, Felix Hernandez almost did it. Innings pitched, which is not a list you want to be on. That means you're wearing your pitchers out. Uh, but, you know, they're pitching a lot of innings. But, hey, they may be tired at the end of the season. Chris Sale from the Boston Red Sox has 45.1. Innings pitched from the Cleveland Indians, Trevor Vera with 45, same thing, point one. And also from the Cleveland Indians, they got two guys in their starting rotation, Corey Kluber, Kluber with 45 innings pitched. And we got some guys down here. Now, I like this. I like this. James Paxton has 41 innings pitched, which means we're not wearing him out. He's at the bottom of the list. Also, our starting pitcher, Felix Hernandez, has 40 innings pitched. He's ranked 13th, and Paxton is down here and ranked 12th. Awesome, awesome stuff, man. Okay, walks allowed. We don't want to be on this. Well, we want to be on this list for less walks. But Jesse Hahn from the Kansas City Royals only allowed two walks on the season. Oh, man, oh, man. His Sasha Iwakuma, baby. He's only allowed three walks, and his starts, he has a 3.97 ERA. So he's doing pretty good, guys. He's, he's got a, he's Look at his break. He's got an uh, 80 rating on his break. I love his I love his movement on his pitches. And in third place from the Boston Red Sox, we got Rick Porticello with four walks allowed. Now, I love Iwakuma being on this list, guys. I love Iwakuma being on this list. We also got one of our starting pitchers, Mike Leak. He's got five uh, walks on the season. So we're doing pretty good, guys. And Philip Hernandez... Our number one guy in the rotation has seven walks on the season. But, you know, he has to do a lot of uh, adjusting. He has five different pitches, man. He throws them all for strikes. So sometimes, you know, he's going up against the number one pitcher from the other team. So he, he's up there and walks, but we can fix that. We can fix that. All right. All right. Let's see. Let's see. But he has 30 strikeouts. Felix has 30 strikeouts so far in the season. All right. Whips. It's basically... Um, a stat for pitchers where how they allow hits and guys to get on base. I don't know how to explain it exactly. It's combined with hits they give up and how many people that get on the base per inning. Let's see. To qualify as a league leader, a pitcher must have one inning pitch per team games play. Okay, we know that. But, yeah, it's based on how many guys they allow to hit and get on base per inning. Okay, so those are good numbers right there. You got Corey Kubler. Same names as the starting pitcher at the top of the uh, from the Cleveland Indians, and they got Trevor Bauer. That's the top two pitchers, man. Uh, he's got a, a .90 person that gets on base per inning. Um, and if you go down here, we got Felix Hernandez. He's only allowed one guy per inning on, on base at a time. We can deal with that as long as he's not having the bases loaded all the time. Or, uh, uh, two, uh, two and three guys on base all the time. But he's averaging one person on base per inning. That's not bad. He's seventh in the American League. We'll take that, man, all day. Okay, pitching wars. I looked that up also, guys. It's how competitive they are. Um, that's basically what the pitching war is, is how competitive, how strong they are, how much they can carry their teams. Trevor Bauer again at Cleveland Indians, 1.5. Uh, 
Boston Red Sox, Chris Sale, same guys, 1.4. And we got our man James Paxton. He's got a 1.4. He's third in the American League, which is pretty good. James Paxton keep these numbers up during the season. He's going to make the all-star team. Okay, uh, then we have the betting wars. Look at Mike, Tr Mike Trout. At number one, we have Sinsu Chu at number two, and Jose Altuve. Now, I'm surprised Jose Altuve hasn't been in a lot more other stats, but he's there, guys. And this guy's always battle at the bat. It's hard to get him out. It's hard to get him to swing at bad pitches. So that's what they mean by batting wars, guys. These guys are tough. It's tough to get these guys out. They are. They is every time they get to the plate, it's a war, man. Okay. So those are doing pretty good. And we have no Mariners on this list. Okay. Batting average, which is a good. Sensu Chu from the Texas Rangers hitting 375. Batting average. Now I think we went over the batting average already, right? Yeah, we went over the batting averages. But guys, but guys, those are the numbers in the American League. I won't do the National League, but since we play in the American League, but guys, we got some guys on the board, man. Look at Sensu Chu, man, averaging 375 from Texas. I love it, man. I love these stats. Kind of just want to let, let you guys know where we're at as far as stats. If you enjoyed this information, guys, hit that like button. If you're new to the channel. Hit that subscribe button. Become a team member of Hollywood Sports. Hit that subscribe button. Become a team member of Hollywood Sports. And when we get to the top, we'll win together. We will win together. And as always, hopefully, I will see everybody on my next video. Thanks for watching.